unfortunately yesterday didn't turn out like we had hoped or like we wanted um, and that's hard on our folks obviously it's hard on the family um, this has been a very tough call for us we are learning more tonight about the deadly house fire that claimed the life of a child in South Knoxville. Four children were inside that home yesterday. Rescuers say one of them, a three year old girl, died. 10 News reporter Jacinta Render has reaction tonight from the family and what is next in that investigation. A close relative of the family, Amber Wright, released a statement on the family's behalf to WBIR saying, At this time, my family does not want to do interviews. With the loss of an amazing little girl who was full of life and her brother hanging on to life at Vanderbilt, we are just trying to collect what we can and pray that the baby will recover and come home soon. There were uh, four children and two adults at home at the time. Those four children were 13-year-old Araya Cole, 2-year-old Allison and 9-month-old Grayson Stull, and three-year-old Delilah Stoll, who died last night. Wright, who is related to all of the children, says Grayson is fighting for his life at Vanderbilt Medical Center. Allison was discharged from UT's Medical Center last night, and Araya is currently on oxygen and is stable. Mark Wilbanks, the assistant chief of Knoxville's fire department, says on Monday around 2 p.m., the Knoxville Fire Department got a call about a house on fire in South Knoxville. Officials say there were two adults home with the children when the fire broke out, and investigators are still trying to figure out out what happened. This fire was such a large fire that it's created some issues for the investigators. It's possibly damaged some of the information that they can glean. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Render. Again, that home did have working smoke detectors and firefighters say every home should have them.